Hi everyone! In a few days, it's going to be Singapore's Golden Jubilee. So to celebrate, I thought we'll play a classic National Day song on my musical Tesla Coil as a tribute to Singapore's 50th birthday. So let's see if you can guess which song it will be. At the same time, I thought I'll briefly go through the workings of this Tesla Coil and talk a little bit about how it works and how, how I can control it to make it play music. Alright, so this is a closer look at my Tesla Coil. As you can see, it's sitting in my kitchen right now. Now this is quite dangerous, so please do not try this at home. Anyway, I will not be talking about the technical details on how I built this coil. For, for more information, please look at my website, which I have a write-up on how I built this Tesla coil. But what I want to focus on today is how the Tesla coil can generate music. Now unlike conventional Tesla coils, this Tesla coil is an electronic Tesla coil. And this means that I can control it very finely with some sort of a microcontroller. And in fact, what I'm doing is I'm controlling this particular Tesla coil with a computer. In order for me to communicate with the Tesla coil, you can see this orange cable over here. This is actually a fiber optic cable, and that goes to a microcontroller, which talks to my computer. All right, so if we follow the fiber optic cable, we can see that it comes to a control box and what I have is I have a MIDI cable that connects to USB and it talks to my computer. So what I can do is I can play a MIDI song or any sort of MIDI device like a keyboard and I can send it to my control box which I have a microcontroller inside and what that does is that it interprets the MIDI signals and converts it into a language that my coil can understand and it sends this by this orange fiber optic cable. Alright, so the coil is ready to go now. Let's see a quick demonstration of it making sparks. Alright, so you just saw the Tesla coil in action. Now even though the sparks look like they are continuous, in actual fact, what is happening is that my coil is generating many sparks per second. Every time it makes a single spark, it makes a bzzz sort of sound. But if I make 200 sparks a second, it starts to sound like a tone. So what I can do is I can control how many sparks it makes per second and by modulating this up and down, I can actually change the pitch of the sound that it's making. Alright, so I hope this gives you a good idea of how the coil produces tones. So I thought to myself, instead of controlling it with my controller, and just increasing or decreasing this frequency, I thought, why not let my computer do it? So what's going to happen next is that my computer is going to play a song and my Tesla coil is going to be the instrument. 